I just got to do weather because Mariah Carey's right here. So would you rather you're <laughs> right here? No, I can't do weather. Mariah Carey's right <laughs> here. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Conscientiously object. Mariah's <laughs> <laughs> like I am. Like there's Oscar, there's Jesse, there's right. Jack. We're like going all. all I'm around. like there's a sloth here. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> a little bit of everything. But we continue our conversation, and you've got a lot of tongues wagging with your your, your great transformation. Thank you. Uh, I know you've been working with with Jenny Craig. Yes, and helped we you a great love deal. Jenny Craig, and they definitely helped a, a huge deal. I think they're a great support system for people out there who maybe want an alternative to other programs. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a genuine thing. It's not like, oh, whatever. You know, I honestly feel that way. You know, it so. was one of the number one questions when the people were asking about, so what else is it that you're doing? I mean, that's yeah. a great program, but what are well, you actually, changing your eating style? Yeah, I mean, there's there are other things that they, Jenny actually, you know, helps the average person who doesn't know figure out like, okay, you can also eat more vegetables and fruit and do that type of stuff, which is not like people's most favorite thing, but the food itself tastes really good. I know mm -hmm. even Cindy Berger over there of PMK, she was on it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get her in a commercial. Okay, so she did call you out, Cindy. Yes, Sorry, she did. Don't Cindy. run and hide. Um, no, but it's, but it's really good. But I also, um, I, I work out as well. I'm not going to say I don't work right. out. You have to work out. And that falls into the American Heart Association thing because it's more healthy to actually, you know, you got to get up and move around a little bit. And, and people don't think about these things. That's true, and those twins keep you moving. And babies <laughs> keep you moving. Babies. Yes, they well, do. How is Nick doing? Nick is doing well. Um, you know, it's a very complicated thing, and I, and I know he spoke on it himself. I feel a little bit awkward because I don't know exactly what he was revealing when he talked to people, but the, the best thing I think was the choice that he made to leave the radio show and to just focus on AGT and Up All Night, which he just mm -hmm. won an NAACP award yes. for, so that was great. Um, it was just something that hit us really hard at the top of the year, and he, um, yeah, we when wound up in the hospital, that's an Aspen at the hospital. Exactly, when you tweeted this, Mariah, I mean, yeah. it's... We didn't, think did, it, we didn't know how big a deal it yeah. was at that moment. When we did really you know didn't. it was like, oh boy, this is so Something. This is something it big. was a gradual thing. I mean, we ended up in a couple of hospitals this year already, but now he is doing better. It, the thing is, like, he's a young, healthy person, and it's just it's about changing the lifestyle. Again, it's just a lifestyle choice and just mm -hmm. an awareness of of what can really happen to you, no matter how young or in great vibrant. shape you are, vibrant. Yeah. So I think, you know, he's going to turn, like he always does, turn a, something that happened into a positive thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why this American Heart Association union that, you know, I'm dealing with is a great thing for me and for our kids and going forward and It stuff. is perfect. Yeah. Well, we had some uh, viewer questions, and they were great as always. And we got so many people just <laughs> are, are, are sending them. And somebody wanted to know uh, from Houston, how do you believe motherhood has changed your life? Well, I feel like the pregnancy itself, because I had, I mean, I don't want to go into the dramas and sound like a complainer, but when you carry twins, that is a whole nother thing. And so physically, I went through it. And I was almost like, is this our, this God's way of preparing us for what it's really going to be like? Like, this is a true responsibility. Like, it's a complete... <laughs> That's it is oh, rock and roll. And from everybody. <laughs> I didn't know they were showing the pictures. Uh, yeah, there's my babies. Probably they're up right now eating. <laughs> yes, having some pear puree. That would be Miss Monroe's favorite. That's Miss mm. Monroe on the left and Rock on the right. Uh, Moroc and Scott Cannon. We call him Rock, Rock Star. Um, and it actually, this is great because we get to um, talk about the fragrance that was sort of inspired by me and Nick and mm -hmm. the babies were born on our wedding anniversary which we get we renew our vows every year and people were like oh please like that's a coincidence it was and <laughs> you can't time something you like that can't. and the thing is they almost were gonna be born on another anniversary 327 which is a day of someone's birth mm. and um, I don't have a birthday, so I don't know whose day that is. <laughs> but, um, and I was like, oh my goodness, that'd be so amazing. But they would have been born way too early. Mm. So I did everything I could to keep them in for 35 weeks. And it was a really long, tough thing. But um, anyway, this Forever Love Contest is uh, something that is now, the winners are being selected as we speak. It's sort of the relaunch of this fragrance. And it's uh, Nick and I on the beach mm -hmm. and our honeymoon. That's my goal, to be back there where I was three years ago. Exactly. In the but, um, um, yeah, so it's kind of like a celebration of what's been going on with us, and then we got hit by all these other obstacles, but it's like, keep going. Well, that's what somebody wanted to ask you, Mariah. Mm -hmm. They said, you have been through so much. This is from Jessica in Louisiana. Right. She said, you've been through so much this past year. <laughs> uh, what point would you say was the hardest, and what did you do to get through it? Uh, 
this past year being like when, when do I begin? When do I, mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many different things that I that I went through, gestational I diabetes, when I had the babies, toxemia, preeclampsia. So that was a whole thing, and, and I had never dealt with a physical thing like that either. So that was one obstacle. And then, of course, you know, Nick being, um, going through his health issues, that's a huge obstacle. And taking on that role of figuring out how to be... Uh, how to help the most, how to be a mm -hmm. good caretaker and stuff like that. Um, but being a mom, like being uh, a mom and figuring out how to get that time with the babies, of course I have help. I'm not going to say I don't have people helping me, and I'm so grateful to them, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's two nannies that are, like, helping me out right now, but I spend as much time as I can even waking up. Like, if I'm up all night working, I'll be making, literally making the pair wow. of puree on the baby, you know, the baby bullet? That sure, thing is amazing. Sure. You got to get it. If you don't have it, get it. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, let this uh, go smiling. She didn't smile that much in the beginning. Now no. she's smiling. I have to tell you, <laughs> your music helps us get through Thank some very you. difficult times. And you say you're working on something? I'm new? working on something now. Yeah. I'm trying to get this song done next week, and we'll see if it happens. Oh. It's something that's very... It just happened, and I feel like it's appropriate for the moment right now. So it's going to be so worth we'll the wait. See. Thank you hey, so thank much. Hey, thank you, Mariah. You're Continue gorgeous, blessings back always. at you tenfold. We'll, we'll get over to Sam. Is he drooling? Sam, <laughs> let me tell you, Mariah looks gorgeous, gorgeous, and those babies are beautiful. That is the first time I have seen those pictures. Boy, are those beautiful babies. Thank you. What a morning. I love my job. Let's get to the board. We've got one or two things we want to talk about as you head out the door this morning.